found the oldest example of representational art in a cave on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi. The researchers say the wall painting of a pig and three human-like figures is more than 51,000 years old. They believe it's the oldest example of figurative cave art in the world. Polub Ghosh has the story. Throughout history, caves have served as canvases for our ancestors to document their lives, beliefs, and interactions with the world around them. But what if these paintings were more than just artistic expressions? What if they were actually glimpses into the future, showing us events that had not yet occurred? Today, we will be delving into the world of ancient cave paintings and how some of them have uncannily predicted events in the future. Well, Tennessee, I don't know if you knew this, is home to the oldest cave art identified in North America. Number one, Lascaux Caves, France. The Lascaux Caves in France feature art from the prehistoric ages. These peculiar paintings were made around 17,000 years ago. According to researchers, the detailed engravings of horses, stags, and bison might depict celestial bodies. Can you picture your forefathers looking at the night sky and organizing their world around constellations and phases of the moon? They were the pioneers of stargazing, the ones who paved the way for future explorers and astronomers. As for the mysterious symbols in the caves, these symbols cast a certain enigma over the depicted world. They may be an early form of communication and language, presaging the appearance of writing and counting. Lasco Cave contains dots and lines that eerily resemble binary code. Did our ancestors unknowingly predict the language of computers? Yeah. Come and learn. Come and join us. Number two, the mysteries of Tassili Naja. The marvelous Tassili Naja in Algeria is a painted cave that has been a World Heritage Site since 1992. The artwork is at least 12,000 years old. These pieces of artwork date back to the time of the early man and depict what they believed in. One of the most enigmatic features that can be noted in these paintings are figures that might be shamans, and most of them have mushroom-like ornaments in their hands. Such depictions can be interpreted as shamanistic rituals involving psychoactive substances, hinting at a deep spiritual connection to nature and altered states of consciousness. Also, some cave art features large, round-headed figures, which some interpretations associate with aliens. This has resulted in theories of paleocontact, where early societies could indeed have interacted with extraterrestrials, depicting a fusion of mythology and history. The cave paintings of Tassili Najer reveal the history of the beliefs and culture of men living at that time and their spiritual beliefs. These artworks to this day remain a call for wanting to discover more about the enigmas of the past. Number three, Chauvet Cave, France. We move on to the incredible paintings in the Chauvet Cave in France, where you can see perfected artwork from more than 30 millennia ago. These caves contain some of the earliest known cave paintings, possibly linked to hunting rituals and animal behavior predictions. Not only are these paintings gorgeous, but they may also be stores of knowledge about the human future. Picture yourself in a world inhabited by gigantic cave lions, mammoths, and rhinos, all created by early people's hands. But what if these incredible artworks could also predict future developments in art and culture? Some argue that the complications of this char and the vigorous positions of those animals prove the workers' profound knowledge of motion and life. Such stunning art indicates the process of how new generations would develop techniques of storytelling as well as painting as a means of communication and expression through art. The artwork also raises questions about prehistoric artistic and cognitive abilities. As we go through the realms of Chauvet Cave, we must remember that these are not mere echoes of the past. They are also the key to the future. Number four, Magura Cave, Bulgaria. 
Discover the wonders of Magura Cave, Bulgaria, where art is revealed with space secrets. This incredible cave contains drawings from at least 8,000 years ago, and it presents a series of mysterious signs that can be interpreted as references to space and a technocratic future. The shapes and patterns etched on the cave walls are complex and varied. Some of the best can be described as star and moon-like. That is, they look like stars and moons, while others are decidedly mechanical and might have come from a science fiction novel. Interesting hypotheses have been made that these petroglyphs are man's first attempts at mapping the sky, even obtaining a peek at future technology. Did the artists of Magura Cave conceive of the sophisticated machinery or the celestial bodies before their Eau Claire peers did? Perhaps these ancient creators were not just integrating their art with aesthetics, but a genre of prophetic mystery, a cosmic direction. The stunning rock paintings of Magura Cave might provide a thrilling preview of what's lying ahead of every concerned citizen, the unanimity of the past and the constellations of the future. Number five, Altamira Cave, Spain. Cuenca is a mountainous region of the Spanish province of Cantabria, containing some of the most stunning and mysterious Paleolithic murals and carvings ever found. The Altamira Caves have prehistoric paintings that are about 36,000 years old and paint splendid images of bison and geometric signs in very sharp detail. However, there are other rather interesting theories that there could be certain references to the future in these cave paintings. Some modern interpreters suggest that these aspects, dynamic poses and use of the contours of natural rocks, may indicate early knowledge of migratory animals' movements or changes in the environment. Were these images more than just documentation of daily life? Were they perhaps images of future ecological transformations? In addition, the elements depicted in the caves are quite abstract and have simple geometric patterns, which might be evidence of proto-scientific thinking and indeed the beginning of understanding concepts such as cycles in the style of modern science. What is fascinating about the Altamira Caves is that they may represent the link between Paleolithic art and interest in the future. Number six, the Great Gallery, USA. This amazing architectural complex is built out of more than 80 such monumental anthropomorphic figures with highly developed decorative motifs and truly fantastic details that have engaged historians and archaeologists alike. It is estimated that these pictographs were made by the ancestral Puebloan people roughly 2,000 years ago. But what makes these pictographs incredulous is the fact that the images bear a striking resemblance to modern-day technology. Some researchers consider that such positioning of the figures with celestial bodies might have been a kind of ancient stargazing or even a means of anticipating astronomical phenomena. Is it all possible that the ancestral Puebloans already knew about astronomy and utilized the rock artwork to speak with the stars? Some suggest that the images of the pictographs look more like astronauts, planes, and even space-age equipment. It is perhaps not out of place to consider whether the ancestral Pueblones had foreseen the future where man ascends to the heavens and controls innovative technology. The Great Gallery in Utah remains one of the greatest discoveries, still wrapped in mystery while still touching hearts and minds. Number seven, Cueva de las Manos, Argentina. Explore the mystery of the Cueva de las Manos in Patagonia. Prehistoric illustrations and stargazing tell us more than we could have ever imagined. This outstanding art shelter with bright handprints and hunting scenes was painted approximately 9,000 years ago. There are many exotic symbols and swirling patterns drawn all over the caves. Some theorists through the cave paintings believe that these early artists 
might have been able to see the future and that these marks were methodical anticipations of climatic transformations or even signs of chaos and Armageddon. So when you are on the trail of the mysterious petroglyphs at Cueva de las Manos, do not rule out that art of this kind encoded something more than intent to chronicle the time. The cave urges people to think that these prehistoric carvings contain messages of what might be awaiting them, blurring the timeline between the past and the future. Number eight, Cave of Swimmers, Egypt. Let's explore the secrets of the swimming caves discovered in the Nubian desert of Egypt. Spanning back about 10,000 years, we find paintings of figures swimming and engaged in other water-related activities. And this is very surprising as it is located in a desert and far away from water. One cannot help but wonder about the relationship of the artists with their environment. The dynamic swimming figures are so out of place in the desert environment. The outlined shapes and different scenes painted on the walls are not only a mere documentation of the daily life and work of the people of ancient Egypt, but also contain messages about the change in the landscape. The Cave of Swimmers invites us to ponder how these vibrant images might weave together past and future, blending historical artistry with a touch of speculative wonder. Number nine, Ubia Rock Art, Australia. Let's take a journey in search of stories and symbols through the art of Aborigines up to 55,000 years ago in the heart of the enchanting Australian Kakadu National Park. These paintings, made by the indigenous people, feature kangaroos and crocodiles and intricate symbols that illustrate the legendary rainbow serpent. The serpent is associated with water, the source of life. It is depicted as a guardian of the land, hinting at a future where people start embracing nature and resources. In a way, the rock art sites take us through the creation story, the retribution story, and the survival story, all set to today's standards. What if these ancient artists were warning us about the consequences of neglecting our planet? These stories of Kakadu link the cultures of yesterday with those of today and yet to come asking people the questions of the sacred custodianship and accountability of our existences and the lessons that come with them. As we unearth this great cultural wealth, let us adopt these principles and work towards a balanced world. Number 10, La Skil, Somalia. La Skil of Somaliland, an exceptional archeological site, provides a superb view of our early ancestors. Discovered in 2002 by French archaeologists, these are a series of caves with the most remarkable paintings, which are estimated to be between 5,000 and 11,000 years old. The large and colorful paintings of cattle, people, and animals are not only an indication of the fine craft of the early people living in the desert, but also of their practices and culture. The site, which the name translates as the Camel's Waterhole is in rocky territory that was once inhabited by nomads. The paintings may be illustrative of the importance of cattle for Bantu culture. This connection to ancient practices implies that the people of La Skil embraced sustainable utilization of their environment and the animals they depended on. La Skil is a fascinating example of humans' intelligence and spirituality, the knowledge of which might help us envision the possibilities of the future. Number 11, Pimbetka Rock Shelters, India. Nestled in Madhya Pradesh, these rock shelters boast some of the oldest known paintings in the world, dating back over 30,000 years. One can only imagine the tales that these rocks would be telling if they were endowed with voice. Intricate paintings adorn the walls of the cave. The painters who painted these little gems used natural colors to paint subjects such as hunting, dancing, and everyday life. 
What is most deserving of admiration in these paintings is the intricacy and artisticity that have been put into them. Besides being archaeologically sensitive, the Pimbetka rock shelters are more than that. They are the creative achievements of our ancestors. The conservation of these rock art sites should therefore be a matter of global imperative to ensure that future generations understand the history of the human race and the variety of societies that have inhabited the planet for centuries. Number 12, Cave of the Trois Frères, France. On entering the cave, one of the first things that will catch the attention of any visitor is the artistic and beautiful paintings done in the cave. The Trois Frères Cave is renowned for its stunning prehistoric art, believed to date back 15,000 years. But what serves as a secret to this cave is the sorcerer. This has left many archaeologists and historians baffled for years. Some suggest it may be a shamanistic figure or even a representation of a deity. Some scholars speculate that the sorcerer may be a proto-Indo-European god. Is it realistic to assume that the artists of Trois Frères were perhaps somehow meant to be engaging in divination of the future? Cave of the Hands, Chile. We now turn to the exploration of one of the most captivating and still not understood caves, the Cave of the Hands in Chile. As we enter the caves, there is an instantaneous splurge of prehistoric handprints on the walls of the caves. The cave's vivid color and detail are exceptional, with hand stencils rendered in vibrant reds, blacks and ochres that have remarkably survived the test of time. By tracing the lines of the handprints and studying their positioning, the ancient people who inhabited this cave may have been able to foresee upcoming events and predict the future. Cueva de los Tallos, Ecuador. Discover a fantastic story in the mysterious Cueva de los Tallos, primitive paintings and folklore here. Said to be located amid a denser forest in Ecuador, these caves are famous for the enigmatic paintings that they contain. Some of the most intriguing features of Cueva de los Tallos are the petroglyphs and carvings that for some are evidence of higher knowledge or even extraterrestrial influence. The cave paintings contain geometric shapes and other motifs, and some researchers believe pictures can depict lost technologies or aliens' presence. It is also a legend. People talk about secret rooms and corridors, making the cave even more mysterious. Others believe that those subterranean tunnels can hide information about early people or celestial events. Sulawesi, Indonesia. The oldest cave paintings in Sulawesi, Indonesia offer a fascinating glimpse into prehistoric art. Assuming to be around 44,000 years old, these caves were found in the Ling Tadongja cave. The paintings depict animals, including wild pigs and buffaloes, rendered with remarkable detail and precision. This discovery is important because shows the development of early humans and their ability to express themselves artistically as well as observe their environment closely. The animals are shown in dynamic poses, suggesting a deep understanding of their behavior. Mainstream paleoanthropologists previously assumed that there were stages in the evolution of prehistoric man, and symbolism was a relatively late stage the paintings also prove that Sulawesi painted caves that depict the culture and the symbolic practices of early people dwelling in the area. Foz Coa, Portugal. Discover the mysterious Foz Coa Archaeological Park in Portugal, which is famous for its incredible prehistoric paintings. Most visitors to Portugal do not start their tours in this country without visiting this original attraction. Foz Coa Archaeological Park is located at the confluence of Coa River and has an incredible collection of Upper Paleolithic rock paintings dating from 25,000 years ago. Some of the paintings at Foz Coa depict animals, some of which include deer, horses and ibex, while others are geometrical figures and shapes.
But what Fozcoa is famous for is its gigantic quantity of rock paintings dotted around the torn rocks and cliffs, giving beauty to nature as well as history and art. As you wander around the Fozcoa area, be inspired by the artwork and the beauty of the landscape that surrounds you and feel a link to early human civilization. Cosca Cave, France. Cosca's cave lies in the sea near the French Riviera, and this underwater archaeological site provides rather specific and exciting insights into the ancient Stone Age. This underwater cave was found in 1985 by diver Henri Cosca. It is the only Stone Age cave known to have been found underwater and now lies under 37 meters of water. The walls of the cave have many prehistoric paintings, such as hand stencils and paintings of bison, horses, and sea creatures. The painting, dating to approximately 27,000 years ago, shows in immeasurable detail the lives of the men who lived in the area during a time of much lower sea levels, thus permitting access to the cave. Koska Cave is extremely interesting because for some reason the paintings were made in a cave that is under the sea, which has saved the artwork from vandals, erosion, storms, etc. It is through this excellent preservation that one can learn about the art and cultural practices of the early Stone Age community societies and their relationships with the world. Cueva de las Pinturas, Chile. This cave is situated in the north of Chile. The cave paintings inside it are over 10,000 years old. The intricate paintings depict hunting scenes, animals, and human figures, offering a glimpse into the lives of the indigenous people who once inhabited the area. When you enter the cave, you will be provided with a beautiful sight of the rock walls that will exhibit a blend of colors and designs. Cueva de las Pinturas is not only a source of important information about the cultural and aesthetic experience of early societies. Tadrat, Akakis, Libya. Go through the wonders of Libya at Tadrat, Akakis, where amazing works of art have been painted in the middle of the desert. It has themes of hunting and dancing, including early Kainga Saharan culture symbols such as Saharan crocodile paintings that are extinct in the present age. In itself, Tadrat Akakus is rather remarkable for the density of rock art that it contains, which is distributed through the rocky outcrops. Remember, as you walk through the Tadrat Akakus, the artwork and the nature of the desert should help you create a link to ancient times as the world was. Cueva de los Pilares, Mexico. Cueva de los Pilares in Mexico. This is a cave situated in the state of San Luis Potosí and is highly appreciated for the artifacts, which include artworks done on the rocks that have taken several thousand years to develop. The artists who painted the motifs depicted interesting patterns on the walls of the cave. These concern geometric shapes, stylized animals, and abstract signs. Apart from the aesthetic sense of the paintings, the objects depicted in these murals depict the religious and ceremonial beliefs and practices of the dwellers inside the cave. Creswell Crags, Britain. Creswell Crags, the oldest British prehistoric cave art. Discovered in Derbyshire, England, these caves have caving paintings estimated to be about 13,000 years old, indicating that they are some of the oldest cave paintings in the British Isles. The cave's walls are adorned with intricate engravings, including abstract symbols and animal figures, reflecting the artistic and symbolic expressions of the Ice Age inhabitants. What makes these artworks particularly fascinating is their age and the glimpse into the lives and beliefs of the early people who created them. Cresswell Crags gives a fascinating insight into the early years of Britain's artistic culture and shows just how much of a tradition there was in prehistoric times. Neanderthals making art. A mere line or etching on the stone surface is raising the interest of researchers. 
Could it be that Neanderthals drew art? Found in a cave in the Jura Mountains in France, this relatively simple pattern of parallel lines and cross-hatching is estimated to be about 40,000 years old. What makes this find rather intriguing is that it overturns earlier theories about Neanderthals, who were regarded in the past as inferior creatures and early contemporaries of the Homo sapiens in terms of their cognitive and cultural endowment. Rather modest, in comparison to previous graphic images, the design of the engraving path indicates the potential for reflection and imagination, which has previously been attributed only to Homo sapiens. This discovery not only modifies the knowledge about the practical activities of Neanderthals, but also suggests possibilities for examining how these archaic people understood their existence and the world around them. Areni 1 Cave, Armenia. Visit the Areni 1 Cave in Armenia, one of the most mysterious and rich historical places on the planet. Sited in the province of Vyotzdzor, this cave was revealed to contain findings that are about 6,000 years old. The main attractions of the cave are the outstanding array of Paleolithic relics, including some of the oldest winemaking installations within the region. Some artifacts include an old fermentation jar and a wine trough, giving archaeologists a glimpse of the evolution of winemaking in the region. These discoveries provide a special insight into the trends in work and the tools used by the cave dwellers in the early ages. Besides an extensive history of winemaking, there are many signs of human presence in the form of engraved art at the Arini One Cave, such as geometric shapes and segmented lines, as well as some animals. Number 23. Cueva de las Ventanas, Mexico. Set in the picturesque region of Puebla in Mexico, the Cueva de las Ventanas is a natural attraction that has inspired cultural folklore and legends that deserve more attention. The cave got its name Cave of the Windows because of the numerous wind openings in the limestone that allow beams of sunlight to come through. The folklore has it that one can get a vision of the future and be advised on some issues by the spirits that dwell in the cave. Further into the cave, one can see the clearest examples of prehistoric graphic art. Thank you for watching, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating content. Until next time, stay curious.